Hello, you're watching the 11 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Ajawi. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, won first place in the duathlon race at Durrat Marina. Sheikh Nasser affirmed the importance of holding the duathlon race noting that this race is the most common in the kingdom and always receives a wide participation of athletes. He expressed appreciation to the participating bodies for their efforts in organizing the race, hailing the high turnout. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the Iraqi Minister for Youth and Sports, Abd al Hussein Abd al Abtan, in the presence of the General Secretary of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Hisham bin Mohammed Al Jodar. Iraq's ambassador to Bahrain, Dr. Ahmed ad and the chairman of the Iraqi Olympic Committee, Ra'ad Hamoudi. Sheikh Nasser noted the course of relations between the two countries and the keenness to develop them in all areas. He highlighted Bahrain's aspiration to enhance cooperation with Iraq, particularly in the fields of youth and sports. His Highness affirmed the importance of the visit in cementing the foundations of cooperation through visits and the exchange of expertise in the fields of youth and sports. He also highlighted the importance of joint meetings between Bahraini and Iraqi youth. For his part, Mr. Abtan affirmed his country's desire to bolster cooperation with Bahrain, hailing the efforts of the kingdom in supporting youth and sports movement. In the presence of the Chairman of the High Committee of Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa, and the club's Vice Chairman, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the 20th race of the season was held today for the Cups of the Personal Representative of His Majesty the King, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, and His Highness Sheikh Sultan bin Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, as well as the National Guards Cup and the Silver Cup at the club's track in Sakhir. A number of officials and equestrian fans attended the race. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman presented the winners with the trophies, and Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa presented the National Guards Cup to Sheikh Hamad bin Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa.
At a special ceremony held in the Spanish capital, Madrid, the president of the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, Sheikh Hamay bint Mohammed Al Khalifa, was designated as a special ambassador for the International Year of Sustainable Tourism for Development 2017 by the UN World Tourism Organization in recognition of her contribution to the promotion of sustainable cultural tourism. During the ceremony, which was attended by the UN TWO Secretary General Talib Rafai, Sheikh Hamay affirmed that the achievement is an international recognition of Bahrain's outstanding experience in the field of cultural infrastructure and its role in promoting tourism as a source of sustainable development. She thanked the UN World Trade World Tourism Organization officials led by the Secretary General Tal Rafai for choosing her to the post. Sheikh Hamay stressed that spending on cultural infrastructure yields long-term returns and achieves sustainable development noting that her designation as a UN WTO Special Ambassador is a global vote of confidence in Bahrain's distinguished cultural infrastructure experience, including the Pearl Route, which provides a comprehensive vision to establish a cultural infrastructure that achieves sustainable development through revamping all the areas surrounding the route to serve the local inhabitants.